Hey guys! Welcome to a webinar of OpenLM. I am Sagi. I will be your host for this webinar. We will go over all the basic benefits of OpenLM and how it can actually help your organization. So basically, we'll be going over the core functionality of OpenLM. Now, from what I see here, we have a lot of clients today. So if you have any questions, just go ahead. You can ask, you can use the questions box in the uh, go to uh, webinar tool, just use that. Now I'll try to keep it a bit, um, well, it will be an overview. It will be OpenLM in a high level, uh, but I'll try to get to the more advanced stuff later on uh, for for those of you who already know OpenLM. So basically, what is OpenLM? OpenLM is a reporting uh, management tool that allows you to get reporting on all the different license managers that you have in your system. So you might have in your network hundreds of different li license managers. You might have uh, DSLS, uh, Loom, LMX, uh, Flex, FlexLM, doesn't matter. All your license managers will be monitored in one place. Now, it not only be monitored and show you what's going on right now, but it also gives you all the statistical insights that you need, all the reports, all the statistics, everything that tells you how many licenses you need, how many licenses you don't need, who is using what and why. So we'll go over all these three tenets. First, the monitoring part. Second, the management and reporting part. So today we'll see the monitoring reporting and at the end, we'll try to see a bit of management. So before I jump in, let's talk about the, well, let's talk about the, uh, a structure of OpenLM. Basically, you start off with the license server. Now you already have a license server installed on your system. Now, if you don't have OpenLM, then you do have that. You might have hundreds of different license servers. Each license server might have different license managers. Each license manager might have many vendor daemons like uh, MATLAB, Autodesk, Katia, whatever. So on those license server, on each license server, you need the OpenLM broker installed there. That transmits information to the OpenLM server, which sits on a central server. So then when you want to view the reports, you just connect to the same OpenLM server using any device, any connected device using any browser. You just log in using the, uh, using the link, that's it. Now, if you want added an extra functionality, you can use the OpenLM agent and install it on the workstations themselves. Now, keep in mind that both the broker and the agent are optional. They're not mandatory. The OpenLM server is. Meaning that the broker and the agent, they simply provide you with extra added benefits like uh, monitoring denials, license expiry allocation, and, and, and so on. But let's jump right into the tool. Let's, let's see the system. Let's see how OpenLM can actually give you all the different benefits that it does because basically OpenLM is here to give you two things. One, help you save money on licenses and two, it will help you, well, pretty much avoid auditing because you'll have your system in check. You'll see exactly how healthy your licenses are. You'll know exactly how many licenses you need and what's going on, who is using, if you have unauthorized usage, you can get all that from OpenLM. So what are we seeing here? <laughs> First of all, we got 
current status, what's going on right now with my system. So right now with my system, I see, well, I have seven different licensed servers here and they're all being monitored and displayed in one place. So if we go to a client database, this is a demo live database, but if we go to a client database, uh, then you'll be able to see almost 200 different licensed servers. Now, some are DSLS, uh, FlexLM, LSDyna, LMX. We have 30, uh, about 30 different license managers that, that we support. We have like four more that are in beta stages. All the market leaders, even some more obscure license managers we also support. So all of them can be in one place. Now this interface can give you a little bit of management as well, besides showing you what's going on right now, meaning how many licenses you have and how many users and who is using right now. For example, I got uh, 20 licenses in this license server. If I click here, I'll see that it's from, well, in this case, one feature. So I have 16 users using that feature currently. So I'll click on that, on the number of used licenses, and I see who is actually using. I see that Earl, Jack, Jamie, I see everybody's using it. I can see uh, which workstation they're using it from at the time they, that they started, uh, the group that they are part of, the product name, um, the session duration, and it can even show application idle time meaning if the user is actually using the application or not. But we'll get to that later on. Now, keep in mind that all these users that you see here, uh, users are taken into the OpenLM system by the organization's Active Directory. If not using the Active Directory, then using the options file, using a CSV file, whatever you choose, you can get OpenLM into you can get your users into the OpenLM system. Now, once you've got your users there, first of all, they can access OpenLM using Windows authentication. So they don't have to remember so many uh, passwords. Moreover, they will be able to see different things in OpenLM. So you can define as an admin, you can define different roles to different users. So, for example, you can define that management sees certain reports, while license admins can see, well, everything, and end users can see only specific usage of what's going on right now. So this is defined by the admin itself and taken in automatically from the Active Directory along with all the different uh, credentials, uh, first name, last name, all the details. So that shows you what's going on right now with the system. But we're looking for a, a bit more statistical insights. Then for that, we'll start with the license usage report. Now, you click Start, Reports, License Usage. Here, we can actually see the health of our license. We can see how far we are from actually maxing out the license. So we got 70 licenses here, but at a certain point, it didn't really go over like uh, six, uh, eight, maybe 10 concurrent licenses used together. So right about this time, right around this time, the license was underused, was severely underused. That means that the organization was spending money for no reason, but as you see, as time passed, probably they knew something, the usage rose and rose until it actually maxed out a few times right here. Now you can show it as a bar chart, as you can see here, but you can also uh, get a representation that's a bit more visual and you can show it by uh, as a heat map by the hours of, of the day. For example, I see that like most of the working hours, licenses are being used. 
Weekends, I see that they're mostly green, not a lot of usage. Now, at a certain point here, we see that it got to 70 out of 70, 70 out of 70, it got maxed out at a certain point. So, first of all, of course, that we can drill down, we can simply right click and drill up or show the license activity and I see all the users from that session, from that hour. So I see all the different users. Now keep in mind that the users here are encrypted. This is a client database. Uh, we're not allowed to show usernames and all that. So you might see some encrypted names. Okay, so what happens after the user well, users got denied, the license was maxed out, users were not able to get more licenses out of the pool, so they just start getting denied. So if we go to denials report, again, we click on start, report, denials, right, right under license usage, then here we can get a representation of all our different denials. So here, for example, I see the denials aggregated by the hour of day. I can aggregate them, uh, if I want, by the group or by the uh, server, whatever I choose. So in this case, I see that at like two o'clock is the most denied hour for the time span that I selected. Now, this can be shown as a table and exported and just played around with. Just like any other report in OpenLM, you can export all the reports in OpenLM, get them to an Excel file, play around with them. You can show it as a pie chart, as a line chart, whatever you choose. Now, until, up until here, we didn't really see anything special. Okay, we saw what's going on right now in our system we saw that we're able to know how far we are from maxing out licenses. And we saw what happened after we've maxed out the license. We see the denial event. But still we don't know exactly how many licenses we need. For example, we take a look at this. It's uh, at 63, 63, 64. Uh, it's peaking, but for a very short amount of time it's peaking. And it's actually maxing out here a few times. So do I have the right amount? Do I need more licenses? Do I need less licenses? What's going on here? So looking at this report, you can only get an approximation. You say that, ah, oh, it looks okay. But is it? Is it the optimal amount of licenses? So OpenLM can tell you exactly how many licenses you need. Like if this is the license usage, denials, so license utilization, it tells you exactly how many licenses you need. It allows you to set something called the quality of service. Now, what is quality of service? Basically, if I set this to 95%, then that means that I'm okay with the fact that 95% of the times users will get the license that they need. 5% of the times they'll get denied. So if I'm, I'm fine with that, I see that I only need 45 licenses here. Now let's say, okay, we only want to consider the working hours. We don't care about anything else. We still see a reduction that can be implemented here, 57 instead of 70. Now I've, I've seen only from this report, I've seen great results with clients that have installed OpenLM on their systems. OpenLM has many options to reduce your licensing cost, but this is the first one and the ma most major ones. Because, well, from what I've seen, I've seen between 15 to 30% reduction in licensing cost only from this report. So, this report, as you can see, it gives you a lot of power. You are empowered when confronting the vendor, when you want to buy new licenses. So the vendor can't tell you, oh, okay, buy 70 licenses like last year. You can come up to him and, and say, oh, I need 50 licenses. I need 60 licenses. I don't need the same amount of licenses, really. 
This way, you tell the you tell the vendor what you need. You know exactly what you need. You get a concrete number, not merely estimations. Now, this report can be accessed if going to management, start management, license utilization. But there's another report called licenses not in use, which is basically it's the same, but taking a look at it from another direction, not how many licenses you need, but how many licenses you don't need. So taking a look at the licenses not in use report, we see many different features and the amount of licenses that were just not used. So why would you need that? Why is this good? Well, let's say that you have set up the OpenLM broker on the license server and it found five different license managers. You know you have four, but it found five. Okay, so you monitor it and you see that that fifth license manager has never been used. No feature out of that license manager we used ever. So you can decommission that license manager. You don't, don't need that anymore. You don't need to buy licenses each year for that license manager. What else can it give you? Well, let's take a look at Navisworks, for example. Let's say that I bought an AutoCAD package or something, and I got Navisworks inside because I thought that they might need it. But I run this report and I see that Navisworks is just not used. No one is using Navisworks, so I don't need so many licenses. I don't need the package that has Navisworks. I can buy a different package, a smaller package, maybe just the feature itself, depending on the vendor, of course. Now, this also gives you a lot of power. This empowers you greatly because now you know what's going on with your system. You won't have anything that's getting paid for, but for no reason. Uh, you won't purchase anything that you don't need. You'll purchase exactly the amount of licenses that you need. Now, okay, because most of you are already clients and probably you know these reports as well, you found out about the license usage, denials, maybe even the utilization and licenses not in use, great. But what else can OpenLM give you? What else can OpenLM do in the reporting aspect of things? Well, have you ever ran into let's say, ran into a wall in OpenLM where I need this type of aggregation, but OpenLM doesn't, doesn't allow that. Or maybe I need this, this report, but I'm not getting it. Maybe I need an idle time report, but OpenLM doesn't have that. So what do you do? Of course, that you can go to any report that you'd like, even the license activity report, which basically gives you all the activity, all the different sessions, and you can just export the data. Now, that's nice. You can export it to an Excel file, you can play around with the information, get all the different aggregation that you'd like. Great. But what if you'd like to do more? What if you'd like to automate this? You'd like to have a dashboard that pretty much is live. You simply, you simply need to refresh it and you get all the different aggregations you'd like. You can custom query your database. Now, this is the reporting hub. It's called the OpenLM Reporting Hub. It's one of the extensions of OpenLM. Now, what does this do? For those of you not familiar with a BI, business intelligence, business intelligence is the new way of viewing data. Now you got the basic reports of OpenLM, but let's say that your manager comes up to you and tells you, oh, I need the uh, amount of session or amount of denied users per uh, Autodesk application. And I want to know how many got denied, how many denials they have. I don't want to know everything. So you go into OpenLM and you start scratching your head. What, what's going on? Where is it? Okay, I can download it, I can create it but you can also have a, an automatic dashboard set up on your manager's system. 
or on your system. And you can custom query all the different reports that you'd like. Now you can create, if you go over the sample reports, you can create things that really complete the picture when compared to the core OpenLM product. Now the OpenLM core product told you how many licenses you need in order to reduce license amount, but how many licenses you need in order to increase license amount. Like you have 10, you probably need 15 or something, but what can tell you that? Well, you can use the reporting hub to base it on the denials, on denied users. For example, here we can see by feature all the different checkout, the checkouts, the denials, all the transactions all together, how many users got denied and how many denials per user. So you see like 46 denials per user. So in the open alarm system, I see I see like almost 100 denials, but I don't know if that's 100 users, is that two users? So you can aggregate the data in such a way for you to get all the insights that you'd like. Now, if you take a look here, for example, we'll see denials and denied users. These are the denials, these are the denied users, aggregated by the hour of day. So this helps us to realize how many licenses we need in order to reduce the uh, amount of denied users. So in this instance, I need four licenses in order to reduce my license spending uh, in, or, in order to reduce the, uh, sorry, denials by 50%. So this way you can easily get all the insights that you'd like. Let's say that you're interested in the license activity. Who is using what uh, sessions, amount of sessions, time, max, average, and total duration of sessions. Maybe you want to know a pie chart or maybe you want to put it on a bar chart, whatever you choose. You can show, for example, which users and groups are inactive, while at the same time showing who is active, how many licenses are not used, when it expires, so you can see everything in one place. Now, this gives you a lot of, a lot of uh, flexibility. Let, let me show you. You don't have to use that, yeah, the sample reports. Let's say that we want to create a new report let's say that we want to know um, we want to know the session duration and denial by the user so it's super simple we just go to user dimension we get users inside we go to denials dimension we get denials inside and of course count them and we go to session session duration measure and get session duration inside. And that's it. The report is ready. It's super simple. Now you can, of course, use any BI tool that you want. The reporting hub is basically a data engine that runs data from the OpenLM source database into the reporting database of OpenLM, which is very structured it's very easy to use, it's very uh, uh, self-explanatory and user-friendly. Now, that's pretty much it of what I wanted to show you today. We went over the basic reports of OpenLM. Uh, we went over the reporting hub extension as well, which allows you to custom query your database however you'd like it. Um, now I would like to hear from you guys. If you have any questions you would like to ask or maybe I glossed over something that you want me to, uh, to expand upon, just let me know. Uh, you can use the GoToMeeting, uh, the GoToWebinar questions box. Just go ahead, ask, I'll be happy to answer. But if you have no questions, then I would thank you very much for joining me on this webinar today. I hope it was informative and interesting. I hope that you got something out of it. Uh, and go ahead, shoot. If you have any questions, it's this is the time to ask.
Okay, while you're writing the uh, the questions down, uh, I would like to tell you about a new service that OpenLM has. It's called a health check. Uh, we check the OpenLM system. We check that it's fully operational. We check that it's fully valid, that it's outputting valid information. Uh, we check if you have any extensions that you're not using that we can implement any licensed servers which are configured uh, incorrectly or maybe can configure to be more valid. So you can call up the our sales team, just send them an email to sales at openlm.com and they'll be happy to schedule you a, a session for going over everything in your system and afterwards you get a certificate saying that your OpenLM system is valid, is up and running, and you can present that to your manager, to your, to the auditing, to the vendor, uh, whoever you'd like. And uh, that's it. Thanks, guys. So I'll be waiting for your uh, questions. Okay, Benny is asking about the reporting hub. Now, the reporting hub itself, as I said, it's uh, simply a data engine and you can use any BI tool that you want. Uh, you've seen uh, Power BI because this is the default BI that we give out. We give out Power BI desktop. Uh, now, you can use Click, Sasense, um, whatever, Tableau, whatever you choose it works with the bi if the if the bi itself can access any data any sql database or postgres database or mysql database then it can access this database the reporting database yes i would um, I would suggest to talk to sales on the issue and they can get you an evaluation of the reporting hub for 30 days and you can test it out, see if it works for you. Okay, guys, so if no one has any more questions, thank you very much. Hope to see you on the next webinar. Bye.